Hi all and welcome to this installation and modding guide for Aliens vs Predator, the 2010 edition of the game. And in this guide, I will look into how to mainly improve the videos in game from 720p to 4K, so quite the difference. I will also show you how to get the reshade graphics tool into the match, so to speak, so that you might tweak and pull on how the game actually looks. But the main thing is to get some crispier videos in this game. Starting out from the beginning, I have just done a fresh installation in Steam. I always try to do a fresh one when starting to mod, because otherwise you might have some old problems lingering in uh, previous installations. So hopefully you can do the same. But if you have an old one that you do not want to lose, I would suggest that you put those save files somewhere safe because um, they might get corrupted when you mod games. And if you don't want to do that, just make a copy and put them somewhere safe. Also, if you want to check if the game is in a good position, you can always right click on the game, go to the bottom and then third option here, you can verify the integrity of the game. And if there are any problems, Steam will re-download the files and that can also affect your save files. So that's why it's always good to have a backup of files that you do not want to lose. Anyway, that's the first step. And also I should add that if any of this helps you out in any small way, I would love it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Indeed. Okay, so game has been installed. Now, what can we do to make the videos better? Well, the first thing we need to do is to go and get those said files. And in this case, we want to head over to the Nexus. So here we are at the Nexus Mods community page. And this is a great place for those of you who are interested in modding. Also, I will be adding the links to everything I show in this video in the description text, so you will not lose any of that information. Anyway, on this page, there are hundreds of games that you might be interested in, but we are only interested in the Aliens vs Predator ones. And you can always free search for games up here, either through mods or drop down and do games. Uh, it's entirely up to you how you want to find it. But one thing about Nexus Mods is that you need to have an account in order to download files from here. It doesn't cost you anything to do um, set up an account, but you need to have one. You can have premium versions of said accounts and that will give you better download speeds, but it will cost you a little bit. And I have myself never paid for this service. So it's entirely up to you, but you do not have to pay anything. So after having made my way to the Aliens vs Predator mods page, we have a few here that might be of interest, but the main one for this video is the Aliens vs Predator cutscenes AI 4K upgrade. And by looking into that one, so here we can see it's been over 10 years since the game was released and the norm was 1080p at the time. And now, we have the option to replace the 720p videos with crispier 4K ones. And the only thing you need to do is to replace the content of the FMB folder in the directory for the game. And the first step is to download the files. And as I said, you need to have an account. This is a big file though, because it's 4K. So as you can see, it's 10 gigabytes. I would put the download on and go about your day because this might take one and then return and it should be downloaded at, I think for me, it took like half an hour or something, but whatever it might be, just start the download and do something else for a while and then return. So having downloaded the files, we now need to look into where to actually replace things. So we shall go back to Steam and if you do not know how to get to the local files, you can once again right click and then do this last next to last option. And then local files, second option here, click on that. 
and this should happen. So I am now in the folder where the game has been installed. And as you can see, here we have the FMV folder. So if we go in here, there's a lot of files here already. Now we want to add the 4K version ones. So let's go to um, downloaded files. And here we can see I've already done this. So we have the AVP FMV 4K upgrade and I just extracted that. And here we have the FMV folder with the new files. And I just go in there and copy all of them. You can just cut and paste as well. But I did this and then just drop them in and it'll say it has the same names on a lot of these and just replace them. And as you can see, most of the files have now been replaced with something else. So we are now done with the video part of this guide. I also mentioned that I wanted to show you how to get the reshade software into the mix so that you might tweak and toy around with the game to your own leisure. And reshade is a software, so we need to download the software from their own page. The reshade page here, once again, I will add the URL in the description. So Reshade is a generic post-processing injector for games and video software developed by Crosire. And basically it adds a lot of options graphically that you can toy around with. And there are a lot of presets available made by other gamers to download for a lot of games. So if you want to have something already made, that's one route to go. But I sometimes think it's fun to just do a reshade option for the game and then tweak around yourself. This is what I will do in this one. So uh, you can read up on the software, but then head down to the bottom of the page and download the latest version. At the time of recording, this was 6.2.0, but it might be something entirely different when you go here to download the program. So just download that. And then when you have the Installation. It should be a very small file, so this shouldn't be a long thing at all. We have this folder with the reshade, and now we simply double click on the reshade setup, and this should create a list like this. Uh, it basically checks what you have available on your computer. And as you can see, here we have Alien vs. Predators, and it's the DX11 I'm interested in. So just click on that and then do the next. And it has the direct x version which is the one i want so just click next again so here we are at the menu and i have this one already pre-shaked because i downloaded a preset that i was somewhat interested in but then i thought i probably will go with the general route and then tweak in game if i want to add some changes to the graphics but i would recommend doing this uncheck all and then shake all so you have as many options available as possible for this game. And when you've done that, just click on next and it'll start downloading. This might take a little while, not super long, but a little while for sure. Successfully installed reshade. Click the finish button to exit the setup tool and we'll do that. And when you're out here on the main folder, you'll have the reshade shaders added and it will have a lot of stuff available also in textures there will be quite a few new things so that's an indication that we are along the right track but in order to actually see if it is working we need to start the game so we'll do that now and uh, I will go with the direct X version of the game and if you always want to do that then just click on this uh, checkbox down here and as you can see reshade is doing its thing up here So now that we have that on screen, we know that the reshade has been successfully installed. Let's push on the home button. And if this is the first time you're using reshade, it'll have a small um, tutorial. And uh, I would recommend that you do not skip it the first time because it has a lot of information. So let's click on that. So this is the preset selection. All changes will be saved. 
and you have the plus button. And you have the option to uh, select a preset as I talked about earlier in the video. If you have a preset already uh, installed on your computer, you can go here and click on that any file and that will load in the, um, the settings already. So when you get here, you have a very long list of things you can apply if you've downloaded everything. So it says this is the list of effects. It contains all te techniques exposed by effect files found in the effect search path specified in the settings. And uh, yeah, I think the easiest way to actually see what they do is to go in game and start clicking. And when you're done, just click on the home button again and it is gone. Now, let's look into the videos. So in order to kick this off, I will do single player. Oh, also making the game look good still applies in game. So options and video. And I've already been in here and tweaked everything to my specification. I do not like motion blur. So I put that off. Also, there is one issue with V-Sync in this game that might be worth looking into some people run into the problem that if you have VC on on DX11 the FPS is locked to 60 and a quick fix to that is to alt enter and that will put it in windowed mode and then just do it again and for some reason for a lot of people, this actually uncaps the FPS, so it is now much higher. So that's a quick fix for quite a few gamers out there. Not really sure why that works, but if you have an FPS issue, that might be worth trying real quick. Now, when you're satisfied with the videos, let's start a single play campaign. And seeing as I never played this game before, I'll do the marine missions to begin with. New game. Well, let's do it on normal. And here we have the new 4K videos up and running. Sir, we're ready to begin. How old do you think it is? 10,000? 100,000? Mr. Wayland? Yes. Begin the breaching procedure. So hopefully the videos kicked off as they should and now that we are in game we'll try once again to bring out as you can see we now have 144 fps up here in the right corner so it's not capped to 60 anymore and um, now we have the big list of things and we can scroll through let's see if we can yeah, you saw immediately that it actually changes how things look. So, click on something that you like, and then you can start tweaking, and it should add that new layer on top of the game. And once again, there are so many things if you download everything. And here you can see it's quite a difference, and it happens almost right away. So, 
Now, with Reshade, you have something new to play around with in your toolbox. But, of course, if you are pleased with how the game already looks, you don't have to touch any of it. But it's there if you should feel that you want to tweak and mix up your game experience. And when you're done, just click on the home button and it gets slotted away again. So there we have it. We have now downloaded the game. We have looked into how to uh, get better looking videos. We have looked into how to get reshading place. We have done a quick little FPS fix if you were having issues with that. And you now know how to play around with reshade in game. So I think that's all we have for this guide. I hope some of it will come in handy for you. Thank you all for following along in my guide. I hope you have 4K graphic videos in place and the option to tweak the game even further at your own leisure. If this guide helped, why not hit those like subscribe buttons and I do look forward to seeing you again in the future. Bye bye.